Thank you guys for for patience and I had to fucking restart my PC because there's always an issue. I don't understand. YouTube's giving me an error. OBS is giving me an error. My PC is giving me an error. I'm over it. I'm fucking over it. Okay, it's been like like two months of this shit. I'm over it. I'm so over it. Hippo, hi. Thanks for the ten double dollars. Mistakes are gonna be made. Don't forget your family loves you. Does my family love me? Does my family love me because I'm unironically a brother, a brother lover, a brocon? Is that would would my family still love me if they knew that I if I had an older brother that I would be undeniably horribly down bad for him? Is that is that a thing that people wait what why are you guys putting that Leah Ha huh emoji? Stop, <laughs> stop, stop putting that. <laughs> why are you guys putting that emoji? Stop it. <laughs> what do you mean? Ha? What your brother would? Well, you know what? I don't have a brother, so you guys have nothing to worry about. But when I was when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I wanted an older brother so bad. I was like, I want to live just like Oremo. I want Oremo to be my life story. I want an older brother so bad. I'm I no, I, I don't have sisters. <laughs> it's called a it's called called a called called a a, a brother sister, you know? Brother sister. It's about a it's about a brother and a sister who uh who who uh who fuck each other? They like what? They like fuck each other. Yeah, Florence, thanks for the five double dollars. Install the small name on my brand new laptop and it didn't break. Let's go! Hell yeah, I told you guys it's not a virus. All right, thank you for the ten double dollars. So your chat is a big brother then, I guess. Maybe, I guess, I guess. Leah, thanks for the five double dollars. Can't believe someone made a game just for you. So nice. So I was so... Okay. Earth Mike, hum. <laughs> Guys, Mike Home is missing from chat today. Fuck! Where is Mike?
my cum? <laughs> Where did my cum go? Poor little my cum. He seems to have vanished from us. No, come on, come on. Where is my cum? Hmm? Hmm? Sweet, it's two double dollars. Meantime, you're so rude for that. I, I can't help it, okay? Okay, I was raised on Brocon anime, and I, I want, yeah, and just being a Brocon was like a part of my life. It was a canon event. It was going to happen. Sorry to bring thanks for the two double dollars. Is that your stepdad or Onicha? I don't want to think about what you guys are. You guys are disgusting. That's what you guys are, okay? That's what you guys are. You guys are, oh, am I your Onisa? Am I your stepdad? Yeah, can you call me dad? No, I'm not going to call you anything. You guys are just disgusting freaks of nature, okay? That's what you guys are. You guys, you, you guys, you guys are, you guys are so gross. So gross, okay? No, we are not. Listen to me. My word is absolute. You guys are freaking nasty, okay? Deb, thanks for becoming Leocon. Hello. <laughs> it's pink. Yeah, wait, Wincess, like the Winchester brothers from Supernatural. I don't want to talk about that because even though I think incest is cool and poggers and everything, I think when I see the two guys from Supernatural having sex with each other, it makes me want to kill myself. I, like, if I see the two brothers from Supernatural kissing each other, I've seen so much of more of that since becoming a VTuber than I did in my time on Tumblr.com. And I want you to understand how fucked up that is because I was on Tumblr every single day for like a good four or five years. And I didn't see half as much Sam and Dean Winchester butt sex as I have seen since becoming a VTuber here at Phase Connect. Okay? Okay? I'm tired of it. I don't want to see it anymore. Matatoga thinks it was five double dollars. Or is this ten? It's ten double dollars. Yellow Supa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like to attract the comments seeing you as a little sister. I very much like you as Leah. I don't see you romantically. Sorry. You're not turning me down. You're not the one that's coming out on top here. Okay, you know what? I have all... It was me first. Me first. I rejected you first. So you're not rejecting me first. Okay? Okay, you have no sense of authority or power here. I rejected you first. So therefore, I hold the power in the situation. And you are nothing. Okay? You're coping. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're coping. Anyways, today, we're going to be playing uh, the coffin of Andy and Lele. Jang Jang is too much music. Okay, there you go. So, this game, I know zero about. I was going to watch Manly's playthrough of it when he uploaded it the other day, but I was like, why am I watching playthroughs when I can just play the game myself? So, that's why we're here. Pippa beat me to it. I was already planning on playing this. I didn't know when, but we're just gonna do it now. I was gonna play Faith today, but I was like, I wanna play this game so fucking bad. So we're going 100%. I know nothing about this game other than this is so me core. This is like the perfect video game they could have made for me. It is a visual novel. I love visual novels. It is about incestuous relationship, question mark, brother. Yes, and it's got cannibalism in it. There is nothing better out there for me. A, a game where you fuck your brother and you do cannibalism. That's that's all I've ever wanted in a video game. I also saw this has a higher rating than Baldur's Gate right now. So you know what? Fuck you, Baldur's Gate. You have nothing on incest. Thank you. So Zay, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, raiders. Welcome, welcome. We have not started the game yet, but today I'm playing the coffin of Andy and Lele. Hello. And Sir Dippin, thank you so much for the two double dollars. Don't reject chat too hard. Whatever. No worried about you guys. Garbage, thank you so much for the five double dollars. It is imperative that it make you understand the genetic abominations that come from incest. Just, I don't care because I myself don't care about giving birth, okay? I care about fucking my brother. And if that means that I can never give birth to a normal baby, I don't want to give birth. I've got a child. She fucking sucks. I hate her, okay? I don't want another one. I don't want another stinky butt baby in my house, okay? No. I'm not gonna have a baby, so there's nothing I need to worry about. Oh, the baby you have with your brother is gonna be so fucked up. I'm not gonna have a baby with my brother, okay? Okay? That's not gonna happen. So I don't give a fuck. Hey, I'm saying what? Thank you so much for five double dollars. That prediction is gonna be abnormal about Andy. I mean, would you guys prefer me to be abnormal about Kane League of Legends? Okay, if I'm being honest, before we get into that, it's like... I'm not abnormal. I need everybody to understand. I'm not abnormal about Kane League of Legends. I feel nothing for Kane, okay? I'm abnormal about fucking Rost. 
That's where it is, okay? I don't care that much about Kate. But Rust? Anyways, I'm keeping that to myself. Silver Dots, thank you so much for the five double dollars. Question mark, what's question mark? They did the eating and also the incest. I don't know, I haven't played the game! Shut up! Oh my god, Nimgo, thank you for the two double dollars. Gonna wait till you get 100%? Hell yeah, I don't think I'm getting 100%. Ace, thank you for becoming the icon. Onyx, welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Friendship with Thrush over. Thrush and I never had a friendship. It was very much a um, um, one-sided romantic attraction, and I'm okay with that. I'm still one-sidedly romantically attracted with him. Oh wait, this is an actual video game. I thought this was a visual novel. Wait, what? Was the easy? Was the e? Escape shift. Why am I running in this game? Why am I running in this game? Okay. <coughs> okay. There's no voice acting. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Pirates, thanks for the two double dollars. Generation of incest is mostly safe. One generation of incest is mostly safe? I still don't want to become a mom. Fuck you. All right. You know, I have gameplay. I thought it was a visual novel. I thought it was a visual novel. Okay, I was already spreading misinformation. All right, here we go. <coughs> I, haven't, I haven't done my, my show to voice in a long time. Give me a second. I'm not going to, I decided. Okay, lay away, hi. I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... Fuck? Me? Too? Wait, wait. <laughs> Just go over and what's... And the fucking Jeopardy in this, what the fuck? Bro, they put, they put Jeopardy in this game, fuck! <laughs> Just go over. And <laughs> I can't figure out what this word is. What's what's a three letter word that ends with K? What's a three letter word that ends with K? Uh can I buy a vowel? Can I buy a vowel? Fuck me too. Something the you. Oh, 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 oh. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I don't fucking know. I don't. I'm. That was beyond my time, geezer. Freaking shut the hell up. Bongo, thanks for the two double dollars. Trust us, you don't want to multiply. I don't. Yeah, stop talking about me giving birth, you sick fucking perverts. Ask her to come with you. Oh. <laughs> ask, ask her. Ask her to come with you. Did you ever go to DashCon? I was. Very much a child when DashCon happened. Brandon, no. I was barely allowed to go to freaking anime conventions. But thanks to the two double dollars. Nimble thinks to the two double dollars. So they may rap. Sleep prefers that. Stop! No! Fuck you guys! No! Do not call me daddy! Do not call me mommy! Do not call me... Do not call me... Ashelia! Do not call me stinky! Do not call me... Do call me Leah! My name is Leah, okay? No. That's all you can call me by. Nothing. No <laughs> are giving birth. That's a nice picture of Heartsteel King you got there. Now, can you draw him giving birth? Anyways. <coughs> I thought she was your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Dun, dun, dun. Good morning, Ashley! My name is Leah! For the five double dollars. Use the powers of incest for Emperor. I know. I would commit incest with Thrash. Hoppy thinks we're the two double dollars. Now that I get it. No, okay, you know what? I'm not reading this. I'm not reading this. I've seen the AI pregnant art you guys have made of me. Fuck you guys. <sighs> oh, she <laughs> she's just like me for real, for real. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it's try for a little inter. Oh, Ashley. Lily, oh, her name is just Leah. Holy shit. Her name is just Leah. What the fuck? <clears throat> Find nutrients to not die. Ready, set, go. Nutrients, nutrients. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Coward. Cabinet is nothing. Let's go. Nothing. This is where your, you and your older brother pile trash. 
already been scavenged several times and it's truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? It's a can of tomatoes! Lee Lee, thanks JC for the two double dollars. Amazing! You should show that to your brother. All right. Wait, how did I? Nissan! Nissan, 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 Nissan. Nissan! Tomatoes. Ta da! Not the reaction that you were hoping for. <clears throat> Ta da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. <laughs> Quit your complaining! You're energetic enough to go rummaging through a trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. What? How did you know that I was- Because I hid it there away from you! <gasps> I live in a den of snakes! Don't rile me up, you're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, we'll put the tomatoes somewhere else. Put them in my mouth, I will! I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them. Screw our future selves. Yay, tomatoes! We're gonna go cook the tomatoes now. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Wait, warden? Bro, they made this game for me. They made this game for me. You're telling me I can fuck my older brother and there's a character named Warden? Like the chain warden Thresh Erlot Grail from League of Legends? Holy shit! This game was fucking made for me! Oh my god! Not only is the main character's name Ashley, which is almost like Leah, and she goes by Lily, which is like Leah, and she has an older brother that she's gonna fuck and cannibalize, but there's a character named Warden in here? Like Thresh? This is the best game I've ever played in my entire life. I've been playing it for a grand total of three minutes, and this is already the best gaming experience I've had all year. Fuck security breach, but however, if there's a bear in this game, then you know who the target audience was, all right? One board and she would automatically get <laughs> this. I did not speak that, no! I did not speak that, fuck you! <laughs> I did not speak that, okay, no. He's not named Warden, he is a Warden, just like Thresh! Bro, this is just like Thresh! This, bro, they put fucking League of Legends in the cannibalism game! Holy shit! Holy shit, bro! Holy shit, I'm here for incest crimes, but I might have to fuck the Warden. I don't know. I don't know. Good day. <clears throat> Are you still alive in there? <laughs> Hello! If you don't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I didn't bring food for the dead. You did a big fr freaking living food! Get your fucking food, bitch! Take that as a yes, so you're still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing it up. Can't you go grab us something from the store? Nah, not my job. I'll check it on you again later. Bye! <laughs> Come back! He doesn't. God damn it. Tomatoes. I was looking forward to eating my tomatoes. You boil the canned tomatoes and make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with it. This is gourmet stuff right here. No salt though. You used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. What? 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 How does that even work? What? What? <coughs> she even eats like Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It's in that moment an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again? Wanna go take a peek? No. But I'll come along if you do. Here. Catch. Balcony key. Ooh. <gasps> He's following me. He's following me. Why are you following me? Why are you obsessed with me? Let's go here. Go here. This guy's lame. Oh, oh, wait. There's another one. Maybe this one? This one? 
Okay, so edgy, so edgy, so edgy. Okay. Alright, don't forget... What? Do I have to save? No auto-save? Wait, it does auto-save, you... Fuck knuckle, shut up. Okay. Come. <coughs> Balcony. Can't really see squat from here. Contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Don't you even think about it. Mmm, no fun. Think of something else to use to cross. Like the chair. Or the table. No cigarettes left to smoke, but it's good for bashing things in. What the? Uh... Uh... What do I use to cross... Uh... A rod. A rod. An ice chest. <coughs> um... I wanna... I wanna jump. I wanna... I wanna jump. A blunt object. What? Uh... Cassette player. TV. It's white noise! How thrilling! Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? Uh, da, 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 da. Nissan, what do we use? What do we use? Salt and water prevents your body from absorbing it. Die from dehydration while drinking seawater. But why is she doing it intentionally? No! Oh, how many things you ten double dollars? I... Oh wait, there's a thing up here. Wait. No! Can I use a mop? Can I use... Do you want to shower with me? <laughs> Never mind, no. He does not want to shower with me. Washing machine? Mm. Wait, oh, dying from drinking. Too... Oh! Oh, see, they explained it after that. Oh my god, too much water? I don't think you could die from too much water. Um... Rope. Wait, I bet they don't do that anymore because they're scared to open the door now. They could still squeeze something in through the mail slot. Like what, pasta? Like... Like anything. Are they just gonna let us die here? At this point, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Like, this whole situation is gonna be a PR nightmare, I'm sure. I wonder if they'd rather we die than talk about it. Cheery. They should come in and shoot us or something. Get it over with. That wouldn't look very natural, I guess. I guess. So we're wanting Thresh to shoot all over our face. Got it. This game is amazing. I also want Thresh to sh- Okay, I didn't mean that. I, this, <coughs> this is a joke. That was- that was a joke and that was a bit, okay? That was, that was a bit. Stop. No, we're not talking about it. Fenders, thank you for the T-Double Dollars. Dying from too much water is drowning. What? No! No, no, thank you for the T-Double Dollars. How the fuck do I get across here? How do I get across? How do I? I can't cross as is. I can't cross as is. What the? I don't know. Is there like a ladder or something? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. So I'm sorry. Your parents have fucked on this bed. Thanks for the it's oh. Are you alright? It's goddamn DIY shelves, I swear. Aw, you care about me. <gasps> nice! Okay, use this. Those are children come from. He cares about me, you guys. <laughs> Hello, neighbors! It's me. Lisa. All demons from hell, hear my plea! All the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice! Thoughts? Damn it! What am 
I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Freak ass. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. I said it almost time to let us watch TV. I think that was more entertaining than TV, though. I think, I think it was way more entertaining. The remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Ugh, what a pain. Fine, I'll get some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, woe is you. It is. Hey, do you want to Netflix and chill with me, big brother? Okay. Where do you keep batteries? If I was batteries, I would keep them in my room. I'd keep them in my room if I was batteries. A hoodie. Uh, uh, in the end, Lily and a uh, very, very quiet. All capital letters. Sorry, it's yeah, the end, Lily, the very, very quiet. Your original vision, clearly, as intended. Artistic abilities have not increased since. I think my artistic abilities have increased tenfold since then, if you ask me. Um, we're in batteries. Just touch the TV. What can you do? Okay. Oh, wait. Orders never arrive of food. Someone's eating my fucking food. Uh, batteries? But I don't want to check this. Batteries are probably... Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 um. <clears throat> can I the batteries to my neighbor? They be in the... Trash bags? Would they be in a sink? No. Ashley's lines are hers or Leah's. It's too natural. Tens of trillions instead of five double dollars. Um, where the fuck are batteries? Big brother, we do not have batteries. We do not have batteries. Freezer? Do we, do we maybe leave them in the couch cushions? No? Oh, <laughs> VHS player cannot be eaten. Okay. Um. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Oh, out of the alarm clock. Okay. I guess we don't need to wake up if we're living in poverty, question mark. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing, you did such a big up job. More. Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too, it's starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to that tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers! I'm going to bed. A cozy death. Oh, wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at the hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom... Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. She sticks a needle in me and I die. It hurts like a motherfucker! Oh my god, you son of a bitch! Thank you. There we go. And now you? How long do we have to stay at home? The results of your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. 
And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Bye. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Dude, their mom is a piece of shit. Their mom is a piece of shit, bro. She's awful. I should have eaten the nurse. I think I'm going to start eating my mom. Fuck that bitch. Not my actual mom. I love my mother. Mom, if you're watching the stream, I'm not talking about you, okay? And if anyone in chat is agreeing that you're a bitch, then you can kill them, okay? I give you permission. Okay. Parental abandonment leaving me at home with my brother. She's going to be so surprised when she comes home and I'm nine weeks pregnant. Like, what the fuck, bitch? After reminiscing all night, you wake up. As one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up for a bit. No, I don't. Wake up. Wake up, 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 wake up. Whatever. Uh, mop. 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 How is the house so dirty? What else is there to take care of? Trash. Uh, clean the table? Dishes? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Uh, I'll make some out of hand soap. You drink too much water. I did. I sorry. I right here. Fuck you, big brother. I could clean the shower. Can, um, um, the dishes. Oh, I can clean the books that I knocked over. There you go. Ugh. I'm feeling dizzy. And I died. Goodbye. Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. He cares about me. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a supply shortage in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like a meeting right now? Ugh. On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. 
Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you! I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum! Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift in his tone... Wait, the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or... I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end of the line must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you. Don't let Ash something in Ashley end. We've had time to think. We just can't. <gasps> Our mom is leaving us. She's not coming back home ever again. That's what this is. So that's it then? No, it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for. The faint beep beep of a drop call can be heard. Ugh. It's always the dads that go for milk and never the moms. This is, this is a, 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 a feminism at its finest. Guys, guys, we finally got, this is, this game is for feminism because it's always the dad that leads for milk, right? You never, ever, ever see what happens to the mom. The mom never does that. The mom is always nice and like, uh, they're, they're like, oh my gosh, like, no, I'm going to stay home and take care of my kids. But no, this time it's the mom. Feminism. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined. Or because you found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe... She just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Must have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to be asleep until you really fall asleep again. She is so like me, for real. For real, for real. Punch sister? Wait, why? Why punch this? Why punish the sister when the sister is correct? Literally, why punish her? Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. I think you went this way. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey! Me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please! Please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Hmm... Think they'd bring me food if I got for No. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, let me tell you. First, you and I would take a... We're not saying anything else. That's it. Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't even look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought, jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. 
But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. I sure look it. I sure look it. Man, <laughs> schizo, I pulled my worshiping Satan. Oh, I died again. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? The fuck is he doing? What are you? Oh, hi. He's unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. The delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door. Next time it'll be me banging your head against the wall. Man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us. Did I? Unlikely. Though, I guess we'll see. And see you did! That absolutely nothing was delivered. Ugh. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So... Parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You think something would be happening to us by now? But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, you don't want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley. Me, Leah. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. It's a bit romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with so much force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our manes would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means that something is. The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he just... Guys. I think he's summoned Thrush. Let's go see. <laughs> Kana! <laughs> Kana, what the fuck? My lord! You've come! And you're... Uh... A little smaller than I imagined. I, 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 I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? I, uh, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I'll get you anything that you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you! Perish. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Um, am I delirious or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Aren't we? Well, I'm not. 
There's gotta be something this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. Shut up and let's get in there. Let's go. Yay! That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently? Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. <gasps> oh, you want to eat him? Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. But we, we, we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed him. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that, you're really gonna tell him like a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, yeah. All right then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my God. Da, 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 da. Conveniently placed fucking cleaver. Oh my God. So you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. I'm gonna chop off his dooby dooby doo bop dooby dooby doo bop dooby dooby doo bop arm. Yay! We can't carry him out in the open like this. Well, just be quick about it. No, can't you go get like plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile. I I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. Take this, I'll be back. You're not turning the music off after all? It's growing on me. I'm turning it off. Man. My music. My music! Uh. Well, yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags. They're also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat you're about to eat inside a used trash bag. Find something else. Where do you keep brand new trash bags? Where do you guys keep new trash bags? I keep them in my bathroom. I keep them under... Wait, in my bathroom, I have like this little caddy where I keep like the toilet paper and the cleaner and stuff. Oh, see, 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 I was right. You keep it in a little caddy in your bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaning closet. Oh, it's a caddy. It's a caddy! Bathroom drawers? I, I used to keep them in the bathroom drawers, but but now now my my bathroom is like the sink is not a part of the bathroom. I guess technically I have a water closet then. I have a water closet and I have a caddy inside of my water closet and then I keep the stuff in there. But that's technically what she just did. So we're the same. Again, corner of the pantry. Well, that's really like the kitchen one. I don't have a kitchen. I just have a room. Uh, crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over. I don't think that's gonna work. Watch and learn! Yeah, see, if anyone happens to be looking out their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to. Ta da! His <laughs> face is so cute! <laughs> God, no, do not make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in the freezer for now. And I'll cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you cook quite the something. Something, cooking something. Oh wait, was I supposed to grab them? Okay. I'll go cook. I'll go cook. I'll go cook. I'll go cook. 
I wish Ashley was my sister. Wait. Oh, freezer. I want to eat. Ooh, what should we eat? I'm going to flip a coin. That's what we're going to do. Where's my... Where's my mouse? Okay, I'm going to flip a coin. Coin flipper. Pit sniffer. Coin flipper. Okay, heads for legs. Tails for arms. And we get... Heads, leg. Okay, we're eating a leg. Now, 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 now. Not a D4 coin, fuck you. We're gonna flip again. Heads for right, tails for left. Heads for right, tails for left. And we're eating the left leg. The left leg. All right, time to cook. Fry some meat. Dinner is ready. <clears throat> right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up! You first. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, you all. Oh, oh, okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Uh, right. Andrew takes a bite of your cooking. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't! Swallow. All of it. Well, well, how was it? It's... Uh, dots. God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love! You are not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby! I'll eat it, all right? Just, just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. <gasps> Good boy, I'm so proud! Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone! We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? I, 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 don't, I don't know, maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off the bed, night night! Yeah, good night. <gasps> da 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 la 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 la! Bed full of human legs! Tummy full of human legs! Yummy, 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 yummy! Human legs in my belly! Yummy human legs in my belly! <clears throat> so tasty, delicious, scrumptious, wonderful! You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Someone said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So, are you gonna be your boyfriend? Gross. No. <laughs> I should teach you a lesson. You are my brother! Mine! I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh, yeah. You're a girl, too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow, you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. So, anyway, I'm going to take her to the old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy! Let's leave her sitting there all night! That'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Leah! I don't wanna. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens! Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Ugh. Do it, Andy. Uh, I guess. Yay! You're the best. Today's episode is titled, Andy and Lily fight a bitch in the box. 
One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn those words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Dude, she's incredible. I fucking love her. She's everything. She's just like me for real, for real. Like legitimately, this this is this is just me. This is just my life as a video game. I love her. Hi Sheena! Sheena! Hello Raiders! Um <clears throat> Um Raiders, I'm playing the coffin of Andy and Lily. This is a game about cannibalism and incest. So if you don't want to see a brother and a sister make love to each other and then eat dead people, don't stay in the stream. But if you love watching brothers and sisters getting down dirty with each other and then eating human legs afterwards, then stick around. We'll have a great time. <laughs> oh, what's taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Ugh. Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I wanna hang out too! Oh. Dude, this girl's a bitch. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? I mean, she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a lane right now. Mmm... Wait, where's the entrance? Why do you nail this metal sheeting to the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect! Tear it open. But I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. There's a hammer! Oh, even though it's flimsy? Yes. I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Dude, just bash your head in with the hammer. Easier. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Inside we go. <coughs> wow. <coughs> it sure is. <coughs> Dusty in here. Makes me worry about my asthma. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Ugh, you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too. Y you do? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. See? Well, I, I mean, it's, uh, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll, I'll, I'll be it. I'm going to count to ten. Hundred. Count to a hundred at least! Okay, okay. One, two... Alright, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course! She said no one knows she's here. It's perfect! Lily, you promised. Now, hurry up before she's done counting. This one. Ooh, this'll do! There isn't any lock on it, though. We don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't! Place a sticker or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? Well, no. If she's hunched inside, I doubt she'll have the leverage to... Ready or not, here I come! Oh crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide, hide! Where do I hide? Near the box. Where do I... Where do I hide? Uh... Wait. Can I... What? Where do I hide? Here. Okay. 
Where do we get a stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. Thoughts. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No! Who do you think, dumbass? Uh, sh she's fine, I guess. Ugh. Found you! Both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? <laughs> it, it was my spot first. Then you're it. No way! Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Talking to Andrew shows you unique scenes. Oh, fuck yeah. Thanks, thanks, Banana Dom, for the two double dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come, come take a look. Okay. Come this way. Bitch in the box. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? Gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred. Oh, shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Oh, okay, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. <laughs> huh? What's that? <laughs> Got you now! Someone is too weak to throw you off the lid. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley! Let me out! There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight! <laughs> I, <coughs> I can't breathe! <coughs> is she alright? Please! <coughs> Please, help! Shut up already, you drama queen! Let her out, Lily. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. <coughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <coughs> Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. But everybody does. I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would! Come on, I already told you. I don't want... And bet... Bet you only hang out with me because Mom told you to. Well, I mean, that... I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. Bro, she's just like me for real, for real. I like you better, Lily. Prove it, liar. Ugh. I knew it. Maybe you would have more friends if you weren't always so. Not even my own brother picks me over her! I knew it already! Did I not just say, la 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 la, talk sure is cheap. She's gonna die in there. There. Are you happy now? <laughs> yeah. Just until morning, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that, bitch? You gotta stay in here until morning. No, please. <coughs> Ashley, let me out. <coughs> please. Ashley, wait. <coughs> Ashley, please. Ashley. Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... Oh, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else are we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know that he died? Ah, yeah. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear that we didn't do it. Y yeah, well, I... We didn't have to admit that we were there. We could have just told him we got to ch check on the guy? Andrew, what the hell? 
What? What the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of all your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Isn't this some extreme circumstance stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First, they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is this cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Ugh. There, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, it didn't fit in the freezer proper, so I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just kept cutting around it and then pulled it off like a plant. I, I don't know. I keep thinking about it like I can't I can't fucking sleep. Ashley, it's come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley! <laughs> Andrew! What is it, Andrew? Andrew! Andrew! Andy! Bye! I told you to stop calling me that. We are not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying! Wham! Wham! Mommy! The big bad me did the evil thing! You shut your whore mouth. Make me, little bitch. I talk to each other. <laughs> the writing in this, like you could tell this is absolutely 100% written by somebody with siblings because this is exactly how I talk to my fucking sister. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Oh my god. It's called a tame sibling conversation. If you've never called your sibling like a lying whore, then I don't believe you actually have a sibling. It's true, it's true. My little sister and I will like affectionately call each other bitches. And then my mom will be like, you both need to shut your bitch mouths right now and stop fighting. And we're like, okay. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just have brothers. You guys don't call each other whores? That's not real. Those aren't actually your brothers. If you're not calling your brothers whores, then they're not your brothers. Yeah, my sister's way older than me, so no. I have, I have two sisters. I have two sisters. My older sister, I wasn't ever close enough to her to talk to her like this. But my little sister and I are like, 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 I don't know how to make like close sound effects. Like, you know, kind of like, like that kind of, yeah, yeah. Why would I call my brother a whore? I don't know. Why would I call my sister a whore? The word just come out. I can't help it. <laughs> Other slurs? <laughs> if you don't call your sibling a variation of a slur, then you're not actually siblings. <laughs> the one you locked in the closet? Yes, this is my little sister I locked in the closet. Well, a cabinet, but same thing. Hey, Andy! Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lily's quest for something or another. Remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation. Then we can unpack it all later. 
or not? I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I can tell a therapist what I've been up to. All right, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell, no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. What? escape not only this quarantine, but the consequence of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lily and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try, good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My God, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Leg, 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 Hmm. Next door? Uh, oh, hey. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point that he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah. So, they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask Glenn to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what do we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what are we gonna bargain with? Don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up, give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Mm. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley! What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts to my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll just figure out something. Let's just set up the ritual for now. What's the need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Okay. Uh. Wait. Oh! They burned. Okay. <clears throat> what else? Done! What now? Now we. Still alive and kicking, are ya? Well, you've been quiet, quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Uh. Uh. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weird one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. Fine, I'll check it after my round. Is that all we should have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? 
Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see this! No, 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 no! Enough, go stall him in our door, or I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing to. Oh! Go, before he notices we're not home! And keep him until I've mopped up all of the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. B-type? Like, you know, like, alpha... Get the mop, you dumb bastard. <laughs> Smells of feces. Okay. Oh, save? Okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> it's like ABO, he's a B type, he's a beta. He's never gonna find an alpha's knot, and, or he's never gonna be an omega taking a knot. Okay. I don't think they're, they're gonna care enough to like actually check, right? Like if the person's dead, then it's just better for them, I think. Ashley, the warden is coming! Nyaam. Hi! Oh shoot! Taken back to your apartment after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you. I'm gonna let you try again. Greetings and salutations! Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. <gasps> She's gonna check the balcony! The plank on the balcony! What the? How did you get in here? <laughs> Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lily. Let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did! Happens to the best of us. Wait, it won't let me talk to him, what? It won't... It won't, it won't... Let me talk to him. Let me talk to you. What? Okay, whatever. Well, now you've done it, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later, laid off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Actually, I am not in the mood right now for your shit. Aye. No, looky here! You unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley... Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating the other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am... But what's your point? My point is, no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah. See, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're gonna go find mom and dad, but I'm saying all that is off the table. 
I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse! I, okay, okay, you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah? Okay, fine, whatever. If you're gonna be this flippant about this, isn't the, uh, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Siblings don't fight like that. Siblings don't fight like that. Your sibling doesn't do that to you. Your, 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 your sibling does not do that. To, that is not how siblings fight. That, that, that is, that is so not how siblings fight. What the fuck? This, that, you, you do not fight with your siblings like that. Absolutely not. Like, if you, if you fought with your siblings like that, you guys aren't siblings. That's, that's, that's erotic role-playing. That's not siblings, okay? That's, that's something else. Anyway. Annie, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you! Now back the fuck off! Who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm stressed out, Lily. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know that you're taking this seriously. There is half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally! Though, Andy... What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad. Or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. Well, it would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> but it's alright. Because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. Their mat says fuck off. <gasps> 302 and Wait, what did it say? Oh, I can't read it again. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Har 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 that FNAF oh FNAF reference oh FNAF Ooh, FNAF moment, FNAF, 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 FNAF and Freddy's. That's where I want the har har, har FNAF, FNAF 5 and Freddy. Pizza bear FNAF, Freddy. Oh my god, FNAF, Freddy. FNAF, oh my god, FNAF, Freddy. Oh crap. Are we on it? No, looks like it's recording something on the second floor. Uh, let me see. Great. There's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. No, he only had the key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me! Ah! Oh, there's a key here! Would they have food?! Notice! From now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. 
And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. <laughs> Toilet. Okay. Uh, nothing else? Okay. Leah, you remind me of my friend Kevin. Kevin, these nuts? What do you mean check the desk again? There's nothing there. There's nothing to check. See? Nothing. This is all it took to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ugh, whatever. What's a slip of paper say? Uh, 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Dunno, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Nothing in my house? Oh. There's so many things you guys want me to check. What the fuck? A while it was $666. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Steal a dead man's wallet, will you? Ooh. Ah, hmm. aren't you a sweetheart? I'll use some of mine to treat you to something someday. Maybe. Yay! 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 He called me a sweetheart. Two X A one X B. One X O. These are blood types. These are these are blood types. They're selling organs. Third floor. That person died. Three O two. Hello! Doodles and drawings. There's a person here, though. Hey, hey, hold up! Don't you dare come any closer! Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out! Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong! Get lost! Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, would they actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and wide open nicely. Ashley! Fuck you. Get out, both of you! Organ harvesting and selling. Oh, Yolanda, thank you for the five double dollars. Did I give you permission to go in there? Did you give me anything on it? Fuck you, bitch. That was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? <sighs> Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there, though, after she saw us? Probably not. You can go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. And the second warden comes in and shoots us. This is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get to rid of the second warden. Hmm. Well, if we can get this woman to the cultist's room, then we've got souls to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? 
Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed. Or maybe they didn't, wait, they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, okay, yeah, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Thanks, Ed, for the two double dollars. You mean me, right? Right? Okay. Uh, fourth floor. Why can't we give this soul? Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal! At that point, we're screwed already! Hey, what if we call the other warden over with this and then have the demon eat his soul? Not a bad idea, actually. Two birds, one stone! Though he'll probably come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Uh, let me think. Well, while you're at it, I'll write the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. Hi. He's thinking. What's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Oh, there you go. Got blood! Okay. Trash can, thank you for the ten double dollars. I have an idea. Oh, let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. Uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. All right then, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden's on his way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. All right, all right, let's go. Third floor. The bow, the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow. You two again? Sorry, sorry, there's one thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me! What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, please, I'll, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. Hello? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'll be up there, sweet cheeks. All right. Good, let's go. I let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet till it's done. What? Get going, dumbass! Fine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Catch! A lighter. Yippee! Let's see here. Okay. This audio. Yes. So now what am I supposed to? Ah, something's here! Who 
are you? I, I can't see. You're asking me my name, human. Uh, what do you offer? Yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for his name. I'm here. It's kind of dark. Huh? I'm not doing this with this kind of music on. So let's. The warden reaches for his gun. Ah! Hit him! I offer him! What the? <laughs> so, uh... The how is it? Human with tar-covered soul. I give you this! Unidentifiable small object. Yay! Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge the trouble the head. Thank you! And you're still alive! Yay! That happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor ask for a favor. But it just did whatever I wanted! And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was laying around in this demon's pockets. But no matter! The warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell! Decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. She's just like me. For real, for real! At last! Time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Dear, beautiful, amazing brother of mine, what the fuck did you do? Andy! Okay. Okay. Andy, my beloved. Your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? I did say she was pretty. Ugh! I didn't try anything with her! Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? Guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. And that's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't. So what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What is your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch while the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cock brain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out of your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... Shut up. I didn't screw with the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass 
anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet your bloody love it here. <laughs> I can't have fucking dyslexic. Bet you bloody love it here when I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. <laughs> and I bet you love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I... F fuck! What a prime example of your... You! Just... You! <laughs> you would! You would! I know it already! I'm right where you want me. Huh? I'll do it then. I can! Just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your becking call, just like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew! Don't act like I'm the bad guy here! Hi, Pam! Hi, Raiders! I'm playing the incest cannibalism game. Where I make love to my brother and then eat dead people. It's going really great. We're arguing about sex right now. It's awesome. <laughs> she's so toxic. What do you mean she's toxic? This is like the best type of little sister ever. I did not know what you guys are saying. She is literally the best type of little sister you could ever ask for. We've only eaten one people as of yet, too. Exactly. He really likes the human flesh part, guys. I don't know. I'm kind of in love with the arguing with my brother who just won't fuck me yet part of the game. But the cannibalism is like the cherry on top. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I've never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want, then? Well, see? If you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then, why aren't we friends anymore? Of course we are. Just, ugh, forget this. Can we just go? Just, what? Just go. No, answer me! What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. No, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course, you make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock that bitch in that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. So... That just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. I guess we're not leaving here together. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't, cause, cause I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would, I would like to go now with Andy. I'm ready to go now go like she did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. 
Yeah. So... I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said... There are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay. I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not gonna be just the two of us, then forget it. <coughs> I don't! I don't give a shit about her! I'm glad she choked! I know you are. No one knows it was us! So what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave! If you behave! Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though, I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right, our quest continues! What do we name this episode again? Andian! Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... spineless. And I hate Lily like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means, in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense! Uninvigorating! Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yeah, yeah! I've got the keys to the second floor, and I've, I've got the warden's gun! I'm surprised he didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. Second floor! Let's go! Andrew can and will show. I hope so. I hope so. He is still so spineless, but you know what? That's what I love about him. Long, sturdy carpet. Why am I observing this? Okay. Look! An open window! Great. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it, isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Will that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, I won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Let's leave it by the window for now. Carpet. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. plant? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I may want a sister again. But only that far. Maddie told good things to the five double dollars. Um, let's see. Maybe. Oh, the chair! No. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Your happiness is immeasurable. Oh, nail gun! Okay. Staple the carpet to the floor. Nail gun, nail the carpet to the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. All right, you first then. Damn right I go first. I am a lady. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives? 
Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're gonna do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I, even then, I don't think that's gonna... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It all worked out. Lest we'll live under a bridge or something? The trolls, and we'll eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything is going to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy too to be out of there. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thank you for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called when you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now, but who knows? Well, I hope you do. I would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> Drive the hell out of here. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. Do you want to save or something? No, fuck you. I'll save the game. Yay! Ow, I just kicked myself. Ow. You're finishing up what's left of your lunch. Oh, nice. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there is something now are non-existent. I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. And I don't get why they want to keep... Wait, I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Boo-hoo, the motel is fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet? Ah! What? I... I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all of the time. Hey! Now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. What does this bitch want? Window shopping. Might I suggest you leave me the fuck alone? Oh my god, what a bitch. What a bitch. Call girl ads. Oh my. Maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash and it would be tax free to boot. Say another word and I will backhand you. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You won't, you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You won't, you won't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. You wouldn't slap me. You wouldn't slap me, would you? You definitely wouldn't slap me here in broad daylight in front of all of these people. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Slap me. I want you to slap me. <sighs> Learn to make a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there. I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. 
And would you, honest to God, backhand me just like that? Well, not right here anyway. Wow, okay, wife beater. <laughs> Don't say that. It's only toward you, honestly. Gee, thanks. Hot, 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 so hot, so fucking hot. Yay, my gun! I suppose I should throw these in the wash while I still can. some sparks in my outlet just now. Kind of cool. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. They died. My phone was about to die. Okay. Look at me. Not the TV. Me. Oh, done. You are welcome. Great. Thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean. I am a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. Mm. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. <laughs> I should have known. <gasps> what are you going to do about it, Andy? Going to choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Yes! 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 Right here! Right here! Choke me out like a cheap whore, Andrew! You won't! No fucking balls, you son of a bitch! You won't! You won't, you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't. I swear to God, Andrew, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you spineless cock. Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname! Get over yourself! It is the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass! You and your romanticism! Shove it up your ass! I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving! What more do you want? I'm being so good to you! Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? It could be so much worse. Should I really show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. They're not going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now for some party news! I almost fucked my brother and the fucking news guy. I almost fucked my brother and the newest guy. The fucking... I hate this guy. 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 One of the quarantine apartments has a bit of a situation. Nothing major. Just a fire that burned down the whole place. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything that you would like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our new Tox Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say our drink is true. Our trusty bubbly poply, which... And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass unlike some alternate... What? Anyways, that was all for now. Tune in later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. Well, they just got... They just got an alibi. They just got the best alibi in the entire world. Their apartment burned down and they're dead. So they don't have to worry about the murders anymore. They... They just... They... They never killed anyone! What? That was our apartment.
apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. <gasps> That's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escape, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless and penniless. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night! I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Chemical leak in some city you've never been to. Instructions for people in the area to stay home, stay their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Their world is going to shit. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Wake up! We've got to go! Get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed! We've got to go now! Where do we go? Soft drink out. There's new and exciting flavors! Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. Oh, come on! It's just a couple of bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Oh, this sucks. It's limited time, too. Are you tired of living, inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. Oh, fuck yes. Finally. Finally. Canadian healthcare is made in America. Finally. Finally, the American government has done something right, bringing us Canadian healthcare and giving me the option to euthanize myself early. Let's go. Nice. Thank God for that. Okay. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. Up yours, Andrew. Why do I even put up with you? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this, and that's final. So, wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait, and wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, come on. It makes you impotent too, by the way. It doesn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon. Anyway, what's stopping you? Ugh, I said enough! Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. It's a cultist. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. <clears throat> oh shit. Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Damn, we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on. <laughs> Seriously, though, I guess there's more from where you came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with demons. Duh! Why are you asking me? Whatever. Should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. 
You don't really want to stand alone in the middle of the night, but you're also curious about what the cultist looks like. Look alike is up to. Oh, fine, you go. But come back soon. <gasps> I'm Andrew. Oh, good. You're not going after all. I, I am. I'm just. Did you see which way he went? Into the alley, right? Hey, I got you something. <gasps> it's that! I know I'm disappointed in myself too. I can't believe they got me with their limited time only BS. <laughs> yes, thank you! Let me try some right now. Well, any good? Huh? You can have the rest. So it's gross too! That's just great. <laughs> it tastes like what nail polish smells like. What a waste of money. Not at all! My curiosity is sated. Chemical burn on my tongue aside, I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return? My virginity? Jesus fucking Christ, that's enough of that. <laughs> I mean, if you go to a bar and a dude buys you a drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? Which bar is this? I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I doubt the bar brow the bar browsing bitches are very virginal. How judgmental of you. Ugh, it's nasty. You don't have to finish it. Just throw it out. Never! It was a gift! Nice! That incest route is so ready for me. Nice. Bar browsing bitches. That is, that is a, that is a, woo! Scare the fuck out of me. Hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. <laughs> Curse you brats. Bio waste. Maybe you start eating out off of here. Ew. Mixed waste. Recycling. Staff only. Oh. <laughs> of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. Honestly, that was my exact thought when I realized. Hi. Oh, who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? Is this a sex and demons party? <laughs> um, the fuck! I didn't want to say that! Fuck! I didn't want to say it! God damn it! Isn't this the demon sex party? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there is no demon sex party. Oh, well, just a regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right. Sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? It just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. <clears throat> Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... Let's go back. They're just gonna kick you out again. Oh, what do I care what those clowns are up to anyway? 
You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you call it quits. Just then, as you're putting out your smoke, there's a key under the cigar butt jar. Oh. No. Someone left a note behind and it reads, To whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate! Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Stop eating my lunch, you animals! Paper cups. Uh, what's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. The drabest set of drapery you've ever laid your eyes on. Am I supposed to hide? Okay. Oh, this is gonna take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart, but you'd also be seen instantly. There. Wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. <sighs> Hastily shoves a piece of cake in his mouth. Yippee! Oh, Dark Lord, that is good! He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the other? <gasps> Could it be the weight of my sins? No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Uh -huh. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. It's becoming increasingly clear that nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summon summoned something on her first try. So that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Ward Unknown is with us today, but all we can spew it. Um, I already brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? Uh, yes, please enjoy yourselves. Where are your wolves? Uh, sorry, I spilled some coffee on them. Idiot! Now that you got answers, you miss Ashley. How does it leave? Hey! Didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Uh, uh, good! Just don't let it happen again! Have a good night! She's still alive. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like... It, it, that, that's him. That's the guy who slit her throats in my dream. Yikes. He really just went into our room like that. You still doubted me? Where'd he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. I can live without trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, 
I'm somehow even less inclined now. <sighs> you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Ah! And why is he still in the room? We're not even there! Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry? Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Uh... Ah, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision! Again. And you know this how? I know, because that's what I do, duh. Plus, he's using a knife. So there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question not why she's thought about such things. Now, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? Ugh. Da, 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 da. All right, leave it to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. But hey, opinions. Which I may add was also your idea. I was 12, you should have known to stop me. Should I talk you out of this one or? No, shut up and follow my lead. I'm Leah. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, Jolly Andrew, I just realized her impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. How's that sound? Huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam with the hitman around, would you like to save the game? Sure do. Well, congratulations! You found a hitman and died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though, given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if anything... Wait, if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. The hitman wins the end. Uh, yes, the world is so much better off without you. However, it's also anticlimactic. Thank you. Okay, I think we got everything. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Park this way. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes! Um, no. Here? Here! This tree will hide us nicely. What are we gonna do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave one. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. <sighs> what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! You're making me do it again? Seriously? So it only has a knife. You've got this. <gasps> I hear footsteps. I think. Ashley, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap! 
I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why did he stop? To see what we're up to? Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't be able to see us from behind this. <gasps> you dirty boy! No. We, we can't do it here. <laughs> Off I go! Come and find me. I, I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. Time has come to play hide and seek with the killer and Ashley. Okay. Oh God, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? You didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you and? Shoo, shoo, leave. Is he not here? You leave your dumbass sister to sit in a bush by herself. But he's not here. Nice work! Dude, you have to eat the whole thing! I panicked. This thing is useless now! I mean, no one knows it's empty. I, I, I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone? Or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Though I wouldn't have wasted them on him if you hadn't made me shoot him! We are playing a finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You running off out of the blue. What? You needed an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. And now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he's out there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Ugh. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have your genius ideas so that I can tell you off. <laughs> I have to reload? To reload? Oh. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well, then we can just shoot them too. Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? We already saw this conversation. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm Ashley again. Did we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got him or something? <sighs> Ever the optimist. Whatever, let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Oh, yeah, baby! Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. Guess it doesn't matter, since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. 
Have you? Yeah. Ah, motherfucker! What for? My driver's license? Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. We're also confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda fl flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. <gasps> Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, wait. Meditate. Mediate mindlessly. Most of them are about your old apartment. Tainted water and fire. There's also an article about some chemical leak. Someone has scribbled the words same shit. I shouldn't drive. It should be Andrew driving. So, where to? Could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? We got a car and everything now! This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding, get a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave! What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. No, oh, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy, wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume that the guy took care of us and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Uh, we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway, so they might as well be dead. I, I am way too tired for this. Fine, we will just rob them. Break in while they're at work, get some money, then get lost. I'll, I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah? Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will he be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie! Feet on the floor! My God, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Ugh, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. Uh, okay, okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, I, I <laughs> yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley, you've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy and Lily and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. 
Well, it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing's funny to you anymore. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want to get us in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy! D drive, Andrew. And so he dies! Finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he dies. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the... You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da bum bum. So! What? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? No response. Uh. Huh. Wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> the liquor is sat in my lap. Just pulling my headphones down. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Uh. Nothing to step on, what? Why would the liquor do this? Why would you do this? Find something to step on. I'm gonna step on you if you don't shut the fuck up in a second. No, because you would like that, wouldn't you? Disgusting. Oh! Um... It's our soul! Summoning you two! Can't tune in! What? You're all muffled, I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but it can't make heads or tails of it. Ugh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Uh... I'm gonna get lost. Um... Um... Uh... Fuck! Sorry. Where am I? Everything looks the same! Uh, where the fuck am I? Um... What? Uh... What? Hi Spass, it's you the two double dollars, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm so sorry, I don't know what a peacock is. Oh, wait. Eyeball. Nothing to step on. Oh. 
Got it. Just avoided falling down into the eternal void. Lucky! <gasps> it's you! I summoned you before, right? Human! You've come! Where am I? In a dream! I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of the soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover spat you're having between your brother. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future. Uh, yeah, the trinket you gave me. Mm, it's been really useful. Thank you. Then what do you want to see the future again? Sure. I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make a deal with the devil. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine. So if that was it, then... Not yours, Tarsal. Is that like an insult or... Who's... Then, just anybody? Why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Just like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, only... One can only interact between realms to deals. Do we have a deal? I, I don't really get it, but I can't see I'm all that interested either. Listen, I, I really need to go back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, I'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good! I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda... I don't know. Something is shifting. I... I don't really like it. The demon says nothing. Probably wasn't right to talk to an entity about this. I will be waiting. Alright, right, alright. Right. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tarso. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay, this to here. Mm, to here. To here. Oh, I need to go back and get the other ones. Oops. Alright, I guess this works too. Wait. Okay, there. Ah. Uh. Um. Mm -mm. Which door? Which door? Which door? Which door? The one with the eyes seems spooky. Do I get to fuck my brother if I listen to you guys? Okay, I'm trusting you guys. Okay. How do I... 
Maybe if I go back through the door? Stop hitting me! Okay. Wait, but I can't. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Get down. You're hurting me. Okay. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, there's those ones there. I can't get to it. Um, hmm. Uh, I didn't save before the demon, though. Let me see. I'm gonna try loading it again. You guys are being dumbasses because yelling at me in chat isn't gonna make me figure it out either, okay? Okay? I'm reloading it. I'm reloading it. But yelling at me is not gonna prove resourceful. Oh, wait. There. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Here. Uh. Here. Oh, yeah. inside is lemon muffin disguised as a birthday cake. <laughs> oh man. Kinda takes me back. <gasps> Freddy fuck no! <gasps> Freddy fuck no! <gasps> no fucking way! <laughs> I need to kiss them on the mouth. This game was made for me. This is my game. This is my game. Fuck Baldur's Gate. This is the best game I have ever fucking played in my entire life. <sighs> I'm home. Oh, what's that you got there? My teacher gave it to me. That's nice of her. <clears throat> She gets one to everyone on their birthday. 
It's not special. She's not getting paid to do it, so she's going out of her way to try and make you smile. Ugh. Hey, Annie? Yeah? Isn't it interesting that when it's your birthday, you have your classmates come over and stuff? But when it's my birthday, we can never afford anything? Radio, thank you for the five double dollars! And Bondo, thank you for the two double dollars! It really is. It really, 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 really is. I... I... <gasps> I, I've got some pocket money. Wanna go buy a cake? No, it's not like my friends would show up anyway. They're always busy when I ask them for anything. Even when I haven't set the date yet. More cake for us. I, I, I don't know. Come on, let's go get you something. <laughs> okay. Frozen cake? Quiet you, I'm on a budget. Yikes, 20 bucks or whatever the hell that is? No thanks. You watch as Andy scouts the cakes, or more accurately, their price tags. I, I've, I've got an idea. How about instead of a cake, we get the muffin value pack? What, those muffins taste like lemon extract and sadness. If I put whipped cream on them, you'll have a dozen cakes instead of just one. Uh, he just can't afford a cake. Okay, fine. But then you'll also have to watch Hyper Gore Splatter Brains 2 with me. That's age restricted. You're gonna have to ask Dad to. No, we still have it. We do? I thought we rented it months ago. Yeah. Mom said just to keep it at this point, never got to go back to that shop again. Ugh, short term thinking. Well, whatever. Deal. Yes. Oh my god, spare me! I'll never fuck your ugly, horrible wife again! What the fuck?! Ah, my intestines! Why do you like this movie again? Because I was told I can't watch it. Uh, of, of course. Well, happy birthday, Lily. <laughs> thank you, thank you! I'll remind mom to put some money aside for you next year. No, it's okay. Huh? I think this birthday stuff is fucking stupid anyway. Watch your mouth, you little shit. But it is! So what if it's been another year? It's all nonsense anyway. Who cares? Well, I, for one. Well, then that makes a grand total of one person who cares. Fine, I'll just buy you something on my own then. And I happen to like these sad lemon muffins. So guess what? You'll get them next year too. <laughs> what if they stop making them? They won't. But if they do, I'll make my own just to spite you. Your existence will forever be celebrated with lemon-flavored dough and preservatives. God, no, no! At least get the chocolate ones! What? You like those better? Why didn't you say at the store? I thought you wanted the lemon ones. Only because I thought that you liked them. No! Didn't you just say you liked them? I was lying so you could keep playing coy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. I'll get the chocolate ones next time. Nah, these are growing on me. Thanks, Andy. You are my favorite lemon muffin. So you pretend to like me? Nice, nice. <laughs> wish for something. I wish my brother loses all his friends and never finds love. Wow, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, good old bad times. Oh, good God! I am so sick of these fucking flowers! Guys, I fucked up. I think I fucked up. Andy, is that you? Help! Get me out of the shithole! I'm trying, jackass! Do something! Help me! Ugh. 
Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Uh, why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Ugh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. So anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley in the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. And why on earth are we at some park? Free parking. That's why. Mom and dad live somewhere down the slope. Okay. I think... I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm Leah. Um, Leah, Leah's hungry. I want to go eat dinner right now. So I'm going to end the stream here. We're going to play more of this tomorrow. Maybe we'll be able to finish it tomorrow, I think. Maybe. I think. Um, 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 um. You, you don't think. I do think. I do think. Fuck you. Okay, I think I'm hungry. And so I'm going to end the stream here and, and, and we're going to pick it back up a tomorrow. Yeah. I, I really, 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 really like this game. It's about an hour. Is it really only an hour long? I'm so hungry. Is an hour left in the game? Maybe. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stop it because I'm super, super, super fucking hungry. But tomorrow, maybe we'll explore some of the other routes and stuff like go through the other door okay okay so we'll do that we'll do that we'll we'll finish it and then we'll go through like the other door and check out some of the other options so it's so pretty long you guys are fucking lying to me oh my god make up your mind whatever whatever i'm ending the stream here so thank you guys so much for coming and everybody that rated the stream thank you so much for watching today I had a really fun time. I am super stoked to play this again tomorrow. I hope that you guys are excited. I will be seeing you guys.